Good day my wonderful people, you're welcome back to the channel, this is Yuglo Fashion and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we'll be learning how to make this Mick Mick dress, you can see how lovely it is, I like the style. So please share, like and subscribe, thank you and stay blessed. This is the fabric I'm using for this tutorial. So I drafted the bodice pattern. This shoulder to nipple point, shoulder to under bust, and shoulder to half length. And I added, I added one inch for my M. And I also measured the circumference of the shoulder, circumference of under bust, circumference of half length, and I divided everything by four. So here I measure the circumference of the shoulder divided by two. Then the length, I measure seven inches from that point from the shoulder. Also, I measure from the 7, I measure 4.5. At this angle, I measure 1 inch in. So, whatever I have at the nipple point, I added 1 inch just to make a slope or a slant shape there. Then, after that, I measure my chest line. That's where the, the make made is starting from. So, I don't want it too low. That's why I'm using the 6 inches. That's why I labeled it CH. That's just line. After that, I measured the nipple to nipple. The nipple to nipple circumference, the stand is 7 inches. And I connected it. I connected the lines. After that, I measured half on the nipple point from the under post. I measured one inch up, then I slant it to the under post side. From the real under post, I came up with one inch then I started so I separated it from the normal from the normal measurement I cut out everything so at this side I want it to be in form of both shoulders so I measured 3.5 inches at the side I just connected it to the 6 inches which is the chest line this curve shape so and I measure one inch that's because of the connection if I'm adding my sleeve to it I'm able to connect it to that one inch I cut that out as well remember it's 3.5 inches I used for the for the shoulder now from there I measured from the under bust I measured half inch then at the neck at the chest line I measured one inch so I connected that together this is because it has it has rope at the middle so it's not really showing my bodies or it has O like O at the middle and there's root there. That's one inch. So I went ahead to cut that as well. Now to the business of the day our meat made. I cut I just notch one one inch. I started the slash and spread method. I labeled them one, two, three, four, five, so as not to mix things up while spreading. So I just opened everything. After opening, I spread them on another piece. I left one inch in between. Tip them down on the piece. I try 
try to connect the lines back with my marker so after connecting I ensure I added little little space I added spaces so that I don't make mistake while cutting then after that's the result after cutting then for the for the half length I measure the nipple to nipple the dart for the nipple to nipple so I'll be putting my dart there this is the back bodies I've already measured them out as well I added zipper allowance to the back and this is my dart I repeated the same thing I did at the front I measured 6 later measured 3 inches because it's a form of off shoulder then I connected it back to the 6 inches Having done with the upper body, the skirt, which is the gathered part, this, the length is 41 minus my half length, which is 16 inches. So I have 25 inches. That's the length I'm working with. So for the 25, I multiply it by. I added one inch for my folding, then half inch to connect to the upper bodies. After that, I multiply the circumference of my half length which is 32 inches times 0. Point, times 2.5 so I'll be cutting the half length two and half times having done with that I went ahead to cut the sleeve so for the sleeve the length I worked with is 21 inches so first of all I measured 19 which means the remaining two inches will be used for band I first measured 2 inches later measured 5 and also 10 inches And for the 13 inches, I measured the 13 inches from the bicep down to the sleeve length, which is the 19 inches. I added one inch for ease. I later added extra one inch again for my allowance, which is the same allowance. So whatever I have at the bicep, I extended it to the 2 inches. Whatever I have at the bicep, I extended to the 2 inches and I added 1 inch extra just to give me the slant shape. Now here I measure 10 instead of our usual 3 inches, that's because I'm, have, I'm fixing rubber here and as well there's going to be little ruffles because of the rubber. And I connected it with the curve shape. After cutting I notched the upper side. So I'm trying to measure this because I said there's going to be rubber and it should be more than the normal armhole. So for the 
for the circumference of the pan the raised circumference is 8 inches I went ahead to cut 10 inches that means I'm adding 1 inch on both sides you know the fabric is on fold so I'll be adding 1 inch on both sides by 3 inches the band actually should be 2 then I added 1 inch for seam After cutting it out, I notch the middle of the band. Also notch the middle of the sleeve. So any excess I have there, I'll, I'll be pleating on the band. So I've cut everything out of my fabric. I added the same allowance and also half inch on the sides so to stitch this is the first this is the front so i'll be stitching the middle of the front you know it's in piece now i have two pieces for the back like for the front you know it to be a pair so after stitching the middle i stitch the side as well but at first to stitch the middle I ensure I stitch the middle at the right side at the wrong side then turn to the right side but the others the other part I'm trying to pleat now I turn the lining to the wrong side I just stitch it straight not that I'm turning it this time so this is the this is the rope that I'm using for this so I measured 1.5 inches and I folded this way just in form of bias I folded it you can iron this if it's going to give you a problem you fold and iron so I'll be top stitching it so after stitching it on top I just extended it this way Then at the edge, I folded like half in, half inch inside, just to have a neat edge there. I folded half inch there. You can see the way I did that, and I locked it. So I did that for the other side as well. Then I ensure that they lapped on each other small just like half inch that was why i added allowance while cutting i tried to make the edges neat For the that's the bust part. So for the under bust and half length, I cut that too as well. So I'll be stitching them together. After stitching, I stitch the dots. After stitching, the next thing is to connect it to our neck mate. To connect, I will pin the middle together. So after stitching, this is what I have. Now to turn the lining in, I will have to pin the middle as well and stitch on it. Neckline of the back bodies and down the dart as 
entendeu? Fix the gathered parts. So for the gathered, I stitch like two lines, then I pull the thread to make ruffles there to make it gather. folded one side and also for the sleeve I gathered it just the way I did for the skirt I gathered the sleeve so the folded part I just stitch on the other side so this is what this is the result now for the parts that I'll be fixing rubber I measure seven inches I left 3.5 inches so I measured 7 inches by 1.5 and I'll be, I'll be stitching that to the edge of the shoulder, of, of, of the shoulder 